for now. Mm. All right, Steph, thank you. 21 minutes past seven. How to encourage more women into the top jobs of British business? It's a question the government wants to answer, and today it's going to unveil plans to try to get more women into the boardroom. Well, one idea is to target teenage girls and give them information packs, which could encourage them to broaden their ideas about what to do in their career. But will boosting teenage ambition help bridge the business gender gap? Yes, to discuss this. Heather Jackson, founder of the 2% Club for Business Women and careers consultant Fiona Christie. Heather, first of all, explain the 2% Club. Actually, should, is it the 3% Club? No, really. Well, it should be the 3% Club, but when I started out on this issue, there was only 2% of women as chief executive at the top. 2% of women as chief executive. Yes. Right. But actually, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about getting boosting the aspirations of young girls now. The big problem with getting women into the boards is the pipeline. We've got 60% girls coming out as graduates only 6% reaching reach an executive. Where we're losing them is the big issue here. And, you know, women aren't blameless in this. We've got to actually, those women who are doing it and who are up there, we need to positively use them as role models to lift as they climb and actually have them become more visible on this issue of showing how to do it and the obstacles that may come in your way. Okay, so sorry, you're saying that it's not, you shouldn't be targeting the teenage girls. We should be trying to target the women who are already in business? I think it's a, it's a double-edged sword. We've got, to, we've got to prepare the teenage girls better. At the moment, you know, they're very confident on where they can go, and I don't want to burst the bubble on this. I want them to be the confident girl I was once at 21, at 44, possibly not the same confident girl if I was in, in the corporate world. What we need to do is prepare their confidence, prepare them for the obstacles that are going to come along, and better prepare mentally for the right. road to get into well, the top. Heather, in a sense, isn't that what the Women's Business Council is doing? Because its task is to broaden girls' aspirations and job choices before the start of their working lives. So it's sort of laying out a map, possibly, of things that girls, teenage girls, won't necessarily be thinking about. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, well, I think, I mean, it looks good. I mean, the idea of having an information pack, um, which has been mentioned, um, I do fear that sometimes something like an information packet may just gather dust, really. Um, and I suppose what I'd say is that actually really what you need, I mean, you do need to tackle all levels, really, from the girls in schools to the young women coming out of universities and so on, you know, to the issue of what happens when you, you, you become pregnant and you want maternity leave and you want to have some time from, from the job market, things like that. But I think it would be wonderful to see. I mean, I'm also a high school governor as well mm -hmm. as a careers consultant at any university, so it would be wonderful to actually get more um, women, men, um, business people into schools, inspiring young people, actually the real people rather than just potentially just an information pack which may gather dust. Yeah. Mm. I think the information pack as well, it is at the moment being suggested it's just going to be written yeah. for girls. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, you know, we've already said men and women working on this solution together. You know, you know when Harriet Harman said about Lehman sisters running the banks, we'd have been in a better position wrong yeah, and, and absolute rubbish really. If men and women together, Lehman brothers and sisters work together, we wouldn't be in the solution. Why are we just targeting girls? We need to target boys as well. If we're looking at men and women in the corporate world to be the solution to better yeah. balance business. Well, they're targeting girls, of course, because as you say, your 2% has only just become 3%. So, you know, Fiona, there is a problem, isn't there, in, in inspiring girls to, young girls, to think that big business and big jobs in business are within their grasp. So how do we do that? Okay, I think it's a long journey, really. Mm. Um, and I, I mean, I agree with Heather, really, that actually, I mean, certainly within, I mean, I, our professional bodies association of graduate careers advisory services and actually there's been recent research which showed actually that social mobility we do know it's stalled at lots of different levels so including the boardroom and, and women getting into the boardroom but actually we are finding that actually at all levels young people into graduates going into the job market the better connected they are the better their networks it is it's easy for them to actually access job opportunities well, so, so are girls not able to make those contacts in the same way that boys are um, Is well, that I, what you're saying? I, I'm not really, actually. To a certain extent, I think that that thing about social, where you, where you sit socially, may um, affect you whether you're whether you're a young man or, or a young woman. And so it's your background, just, despite your yes, gender. Yes, obviously, obviously there's some problem. Just briefly, yeah. if you I mean, yeah. maybe it's sort of a, a weird example. If you look at the the series of The Apprentice, you have. Um, obviously, you have to have 50 50 split between women and women. But there's any number of young women there who are battling to take mm. part and who seem to be very, very capable, very driven and very, very well informed. 
I think what it is there, and, and, and you're completely right, at the, the age is 18 to 24, no girl doesn't think that they can rule the world, no boy doesn't either. But actually what we've got to do is mentally and better prepare girls. And what the report will do is hopefully have real role model women talking not about being superwomen, but how they've achieved it, how they've balanced their life with the family, how they've worked supportedly with a partner. Everybody needs support in their life, whether it be your mother, your nanny, your home help, or whatever. You need that help to get you to where you're going. And hopefully men and women, boys and girls, will work better together on this issue. And I do ask that we talk to boys as well about what the future looks like for them with girls alongside them. All right, Heather Jackson, Fiona Christie, thanks very much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. 27 minutes past seven in the next half hour, revisiting the street in Bristol, where a resident celebrated the Queen's coronation with a big party for which they won a prize. We'll be sharing their memories of that day 60 years ago. Time now, though, to get the news, travel, and weather where you are. We'll see you in just a moment.